I'm not sure how well this footage is going to turn out. Uh, we were just having dinner, our house is just right there, and the locals started uh, burning off uh, before the wet season kicks in. And it's like amazing colours, there's oranges and blues and greens and everything, so I'm going to try and see if we can get some of this footage. And it's probably not going to work, but it's so amazing. See all the coconut palms? Everything's all, it's just after sunset, there's the oranges from the flames, blues from the sunset, greens, oh, looks so good. I wish I had a better camera than just a, the iPhone. I do all of my vlogs are done on a, just on an iPhone with a gimbal. Um, one day, I'll probably get a better camera, but for now, it's an iPhone. But that looks so cool. It's amazing. Thanks for watching and welcome to the episode. In this episode we're going to look at the Parau again, which is our Filipino sailboat that we're restoring, and we're going to look at a couple of other things as well. But first off, just a quick apology for not posting for a little while. Rudy did get sick, he hurt his hand and so he's been in hospital. So I haven't been vlogging because uh, I, I wanted to wait until he was back so we could finish off the sailboat thing. Uh, now next thing is, yeah, I'm holding a bat. This Poor little guy, it's very dead, very dead bat. He died this morning at 3 a.m. up there on the top of our power pole. There was a big flash, our bedroom's just over, well, over that way. Uh, there was a big flash and a pop, and uh, power went out, and I came out this morning and yeah, found him just hanging there, just hanging around, but very, 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 very calm. Poor guy, he's really cute. Anyway, uh, his claws are sharp. And we've got other stuff to look at, like this. Woo. Rudy's had a solid day's work and we've now got a side on the boat. It's only one side, the other side's gonna be tomorrow, but it's a side and it looks, it looks like a boat. It doesn't look like a skeleton, but yeah, it's cool. I'll show you up close. As you can see from this side, one side is now finished and tomorrow the other side goes on. So uh, we're getting close and he's done some cool little things like he's, he's made a splash guard up the front to catch any spray off waves. He's gonna add some bamboo out on the side for us to sit on so we can sit sideways with our feet inside the hull. Uh, it's coming on really well, super happy. And uh, Rudy's telling me that it's gonna be done inside five days. So that's only like a couple of days, two or three days from now, and it'll all be done. <gasps> Super stoked. Can't wait to get it on the water. <laughs> Next week our daughter starts grade one uh, at a school just around the corner here. So we've just ridden the scooter across. And when you're living on a tropical island, this is where you buy school uniforms. <laughs> Pretty cool. Time and time again, I find myself wondering how are we going to solve this problem or what would, uh, 
what would the locals do in this situation? And there's always a solution. And school uniforms, little shop, side of the road, job's done. All right, day four of the rebuild, and Rudy's got an apprentice. He's uh, showing a young lad how it's all done, and uh, he's now just building up the cockpit areas. We've got the second sheet on, so uh, both sides are all clad. The decks are getting clad, and uh, they're starting to apply the epoxy sealer. And there's Olivia. <laughs> uh, so it's all coming along, really good. We'll check back in with him tomorrow when we should be painting, which is great, can't wait. A couple of months ago I talked about where we got our fresh water from. Our water comes from deep wells and this is our new well. Our old well, the one that was in that video, went all salty so we've changed over and we've now got this one just set up. You can hear the pump running in the background, that's our pump there. And finally we're going to get fresh water again because we've had salty showers for ages and it's not really that much fun. So finally fresh water again. Yay. And this is the other end of the line at our house. There's our storage tanks. You can see the black pipe and it's coming up now with fresh water into our tanks. So we've got 800 litres of storage and that should be plenty for all three houses for a few days. Um, and now it's not even sold. We've been living on Tublas Island for about two months now and this is definitely the highest tide that we've seen since we've been here, which is not really that interesting at all. But what is interesting is what's happening down the back of the property. So this is the back of the property and that's our driveway. And that is the ocean. <laughs> so this lake out the back here is uh, salt water and it's fed by the ocean through a channel uh, in the neighbor's property um, but this is the highest tide that we've seen and now it's flooded across our road. We've got water on our road. It's kind of cool and kind of bad at the same time. Riding motorbikes through salt water, probably not a good idea. So I guess we'll have to wait for the tide to go out before we can go anywhere. That's different. <laughs> just dropped into Rudy's place to get a quick update and he's done uh, quite a lot. These are the outrigger support struts. Uh, if you're wondering why I don't know what the names of everything are, it's because I don't know what they are. Nautical terms. That's the thing that holds the outriggers in place. So the outriggers are made of bamboo, they're made of flexible wood, they're both broken so he needs two more of those. Uh, he's done the rudder so you can see there the pink one. How do I do that? Pink one is the old one and he's carved out the new one out of that plank of wood I showed you in the previous episode and the boat is now covered in epoxy so you can see that it's going to be like a new boat it's all sealed completely um, so he's put a first coat on this side second coat around here on this side so you can see it's going to come up it's basically going to be like a sealed fiberglass tub oh not fiberglass but um, epoxy tub and uh, that way it's going to save the wood uh, prolong the life of the wood and it'll be like a fiberglass boat um, that'll have all the resistance that uh, that fiberglass offers um, but it's still made of wood which is great so I'm um, getting there I'll do another update tomorrow okay so day day seven day seven of the rebuild and one of Rudy's friends is shaping up the new rudder really cool and Rudy's over here just working on the front of the, the hull. So what he's doing is he's just replacing, it's obviously everything's upside down, replacing a bit of wood there, a bit of wood there, and then he's gonna run a new keel uh, down the length to protect the, 
the keel set up to take the hull. Um, when we beach it, because we have to bring it out of the water each time, and uh, then we can sand back and paint. So we're just about ready to paint. Um, we didn't allow, obviously, for the time that it takes to put the epoxy on the hull, so that's taken an extra day or two, hence the time blowout. Not that it's a big deal, it's just, it just takes as long as it takes. Okay, let's get going with the day eight update of the rebuild. Now down here, I'm gonna do a bit of a walk around sort of thing. Down there is the bamboo that's gonna be the seats on the side of the outriggers. Over here is the outriggers themselves um, with their support struts. So we've got the new support struts made up. The outriggers have got their first coat of paint on them and the boat's looking great. They've got the rudder all built up. This new rudder, how cool does that look? They modeled this, it's normally straight, but they modeled it over a, after a carabao, uh, like a water buffalo, the horns, the shape of water buffalo horns. So we've got a little bit of a local theme going on that. And that's all hinged and hung and working well. And the rest of the boat, the rest of the boat is um, just about done. It's ready for first coat. Rudy's just applying the last few bits of epoxy that'll dry off and then we'll be able to start painting it red and white. Can't wait. I'm gonna find a paintbrush and see if I can help too, if you'll let me. Okay, so we've got the first coat of red on the hull. Oh, I think it looks great. Uh, Rudy's just touching up. He's got his apprentice there, who's apprentice, who's uh, putting the lashings on the cross members for the outriggers. They're all painted. Um, it's a bit of a family affair. Uh, Rudy's daughter's been helping out as well. That's her son. Um, so everybody's getting involved. It's nice. It's one of the great things about this project is seeing the way the whole community comes together to help with different parts of the project. It's, uh, it's really beautiful. So now we've got to throw two more po coats of paint on the hull and the other pieces, and then move it all down to the beach where we'll assemble it and uh, hopefully take it for a sail. My wife's got a business trip to Singapore, so we've just uh, ridden a scooter up to the airport, just dropping her off, but uh, she had a bit of luggage and so when you don't have a car and you're living on a tropical island, this is how you get your luggage here, to the airport. That's Rudy. <laughs> Helped my wife with her bag. Works. And the day nine, day nine, day 10. Day, today's update is, it's looking great. It's all painted. Rudy's just checking out the cross member fit uh, in their little spot. Um, rudder's all done, the outriggers are all done, um, we're ready to move it down to the beach and rig it all up, so uh, the next part's the really fun part. Yeah. We're just getting ready to move all of the components uh, for the Parau, the sailboat, down to the beach. Um, and Ronell, who's our test pilot, is just stitching up the jib, or the little foresail. So once this is all stitched up and everybody's ready to go, we're going to pick up all the components and move them down to the beach. So here we go, it's about to happen. So that's Renel coming in from the first test sale. It looks like everything's gone well for him. So it's time for me to jump on and have a go. 
let's see how to sail this thing. Before we wrap the episode up, just a quick shout out to the good people from Stop the Press. Thanks very much for the comments and your time lapse will follow this. And for everybody else, thank you so much for watching. I know it's been a longer vlog and it's taken longer than normal to, for me to complete, but it's all done now. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, please click on the like button, hitting subscribe, or hit, you know what, you know all that stuff. Do all the stuff, do what you want to do. I'm going to go and sail the Parau. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.